why why do I still have this it's a good question hey guys my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can tell by the title it's a little bit different I've never done anything like this I'm going to be showing you both the beauty empties that I have but also makeup that I've had since high school which was a while ago considering that I graduated in 2012 so that was over six years ago. The What kind of inspired this video was Kathleen Lights recently did a video where she went through her closet and she showed you items that she's had for a long time. So that kind of inspired it, but also a friend of mine was recently decluttering her makeup and that got me to thinking that I should probably do that again. I get emotionally attached to my things, so I can't you know, purge everything all at once. So that's kind of somewhat of the reason why I still have these things. But also you'll see, I actually, the first two palettes that I mentioned, I've had for like eight years and I kept on thinking that I was gonna use these. You know, I might need a color or something like that. But then I just kind of came to the realization that I'm never gonna use this again. But before throwing it away, might as well do a video about it, right? Cause I don't know, I just thought that this would be kind of interesting. Also with the empties, I have accumulated for a long time because for some reason whenever I'm done with a product, I don't necessarily always throw it away. I just, that's just, anyway. Another thing, if you like my eye makeup, I actually have a video on this. It's my sunset eye tutorial or something along those lines. I'll make sure that I link it down below. I show you how to do that. I think it's kind of a pretty look. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post a beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Also with subscribing, um, next to it is there's like a little bell icon. If you can click that, that way you'll get notified whenever I post. So I don't want to make this intro very super long because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long video. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that I actually want to mention are these two palettes and I didn't even bother like cleaning them up. You'll be able to tell that they're old, used, obviously. So I put these two palettes in the trash can, these two right here, and then I was like, nah, like this is too old. <laughs> Clearly I need to share this with people first. So this, um, the first thing that I will mention is this Coastal Sense 10 blush palette looks like this yeah I didn't think it had a mirror inside this actually broke that was like a lighter bronzer and this is from high school Hannah days but as you can like just like looking at this I'm trying to remember so this was high school Hannah days as you can tell clearly this was my shade this Barbie pink I thought was was the was the jam that was good. I Looking at this, I really like this mauve one right here. I, I do remember using that one. And I think some days when I was, you know, feeling especially saucy, I would mix this one and this like straight up hot pink blush. Like, okay. You can tell, especially <laughs> this shade right here, how old that is. Like that is, like that thing is really, yeah, nothing's coming off. Like that, 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 that's a goner for sure. This just needs to be thrown away, so. Like this next palette is from BH Cosmetics. It's about the same age as this Coastal Scents one. The packaging looks the same, very similar at least. And it's, I'm sorry, there is like makeup all over the front, but anyway. And this has 120 eyeshadows. Anyway, I also just kind of came to the realization that I was never gonna use this either. And also whenever I open it, it I can't describe it, <laughs> but it has kind of an overpowering smell as well. But there are, 60 I'm trying I was like what was 120 divided by two good job Hannah anyway there's 60 shades here and then th this top row does lift up and then I still kept the plastic here okay so let me show you the 120 shades you have a lot to choose from for sure you have like a, I'm trying to look at it you have a good range of nudes uh, you do have different finishes as well Mm, I'm looking at it. It's mostly looks like it's matte and then you have maybe some shimmery shades a little bit as well You do have a lot to use and I did try to you know play around with this a lot. This was very beginner Kind of like whenever I started to get into makeup obviously especially this palette in particular before that I only had like little quads from covergirl and kind of things like that I'll show those as well because you know, I have those as well still obviously can't remember how much this palette was but definitely for getting 120 eyeshadows it was very reasonable very affordable i also am gonna have empties in this video as well i don't think i'm gonna like break it up by category i could but now nah, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of mention things that i see so this is the next uh, this is actually the first empty empty wow that i want to mention it's the benefit boing airbrush concealer and as you can see it is empty basically 
And I would not repurchase this, but that is because I use this one instead. So I went to repurchase this. This is, I think it's $20. I think it's the same price as this one. But then I saw that this was industrial strength and I think I like swatched it in the store and I, as you can tell, is well loved. And I liked this formula a lot better because as it mentions in the name, it's industrial strength. So I think that this does a lot better job at covering up you know imperfections it's whatever this is like the airbrush concealer so i believe it's more of a whipped formula so this it just depends on what you're looking for i use shade number one because i'm very fair i just liked this one better i would not repurchase this one just because of the formula difference but it's kind of like the same idea but this is just more industrial strength so i would recommend this the next empty that i want to mention is this um, Mark Anthony Grow Long Leave-In Conditioner and I feel like a little bit of a hypocrite mentioning this because I actually am pretty sure I got this in my Ipsy which this is a pretty big size to get in an uh, Ipsy bag and I have mentioned more than once that I don't like getting hair products in Ipsy and yet this is one of the things that I did actually like getting. I think that it did help my hair. I used up the entire thing. So other than this you know, for the most part, I do not like getting hair products in my Ipsy bag just because I prefer more to try out beauty products like for my face and skincare, maybe even a little bit as well when it comes to masks. So that's why I don't like getting hair products, but I did like this one. Also, sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained in this video, but I think I am going to try to link a lot of the products down below, especially the ones that I use up and I definitely highly recommend. But yeah, so if you're interested in checking something out, check the description box and I will try to link it for you. The next thing that I wanna mention that I'm just throwing away just because I mentioned this in a haul, I got this. This is the Kat Von D Locket Color Correcting Eyeshadow Primer. It looks like this and I really wanted to like this because as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I got this for three or four dollars in my Smashbox eyeshadow primer is $21. So I wanted kind of a dupe for, you know, things that I could for wearing every now and then because that is a really good eyeshadow primer. But obviously this one is way cheaper, but it just honestly like I couldn't even it didn't even seem to really prime my eyes. I do have somewhat oily eyelids. So maybe that was the problem. Maybe if you just have dry eyelids or regular eyelids if for lack of a better term maybe it'll work out fine for you but i just i did not like this so and i didn't like it that like enough that i kind of want to throw it away i might give this to a friend and see if they like it since it isn't expired i think i might do that and if they don't like it then they can just throw it away with like no worries because i was just going to throw it away so yeah i think that i'm going to re-gift this now that i'm thinking about it the next thing I'm looking around, uh, we'll just get all of the mascaras out of the way because I do have a few to mention. So the first one, Thrive Cosmetics, I have mentioned this before. I used this in my August Ipsy bag review. Did not like this at all and you can't reuse mascaras. Like that's, no, just don't do that. So this is going to be trash. I, I don't know, I just didn't like the formula. It's the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And I just, it was, I didn't like the consistency. Next thing that I have to mention is the Lori, Laura, wow, Laura Geller Glam Lash Dramatic Volumizing Mascara. This is just a little sample. I think I got this in an Ipsy and I did really, really like this. I'm pretty sure that's why I kept, I held on to it because I did really like this mascara. But since it's Laura Geller, I don't think it'd be very inexpensive. So I would probably want to try to get this on sale, but this was a good mascara. And then sadly, my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, it needs to be thrown away, and this is my favorite mascara of all times. It's $24. I mention it in almost every video. I highly recommend it, but there's just, you know, it needs to be thrown away. There's no more in this. I do have a baby size of this, so that's kind of, I'm kind of happy about that, but I just have a lot of, well, not a lot. I just have a few other mascaras to use as well. Okay, next, let's go back to High School Hannah eyeshadow, like, quads. I'm just going to show them all at once that I cannot get rid of or that I couldn't get rid of quads that I need to throw away now. The first one that I want to mention is probably like the one that I'm at least attached to. It's just this e.l.f. one. I'm pretty sure I bought this whenever I went through like a purchase and I got like $30 worth of e.l.f. for free shipping. High school Hannah. Anyway, but I don't remember using this this much where I hit pan on like three of the eyeshadows. I also, this was before I used a good primer, but I wasn't super, super into the e.l.f. eyeshadows. They seemed to crease on me really is easily, but maybe it, if I use that with my Smashbox primer, I might have a different, you know, story to tell for that. 
but yeah this is just one that I'm gonna throw away I'm not you know attached to this or anything like that but it's just really old like that's probably eight years old no uh, anyway the next one that I have to mention is this Rimmel London one and I remember using this all the time and as you can tell maybe it's very well loved so I was looking at this last night kind of you know formulating in my head what I was gonna mention in this video and I understand that this is their logo so like if you just look at it you know in the pan like that's a cute idea for a layout and whatever but these are actually so these three shades are the same all the way around this pink shade the pink shade is fine like that's easy enough to get to but these ones especially like this little deep plum hopefully you can see that this deep plum in this corner like that is the most impractical layout I just I can't I know it comes with like a little sponge applicator but for good eyeshadow application especially now this was very beginner Hannah you know makeup phase days and that kind of thing but it's just I remember even at the time like this is just not the best layout and, and then next I have thing something that I'm very attached to the lid actually broke off and I still kept it so also a little bit of a backstory that, that I feel like I should mention is I got into YouTube like, like I've been watching YouTube makeup tutorials for years. Like this is where I learned how to do my makeup. That's part of the reason why I wanted to start a channel so I can share with you my, you know, makeup looks as well. Because my mom and I, like I definitely, I was thinking like I definitely did not get makeup wearing from like how, learn how to apply makeup or anything like that from my mom because she doesn't wear much makeup. I mean, it looks good for her. That's just not something that she's into. So YouTube is where I learned a lot of my makeup application. So this next little trio is CoverGirl and I used this like pretty much every day. And as you can tell, like can we just be impressed with how much I used this eyeshadow? This I would put all over my lid and I think I would put this more like in my inner corner area. And maybe I'd put this in my crease. I'm guessing I didn't use this one as much as you can tell. But I was trying to think of like my everyday look that I used to create this palette. But yeah, like this was my palette. Can you call it? This is my trio. This is not a palette. This was my trio and that I used in high school for sure. A lot. Everyday makeup. Because even back in the day, I was into eyeshadow. But I am going to part ways with this because I'm never going to use this again. And then that brings me to my last thing from my high school days that it just it has a special place in my heart and I don't think I want to get rid of this because I was thinking last night and I'm pretty sure this was the first eyeshadow like not palette eyeshadow quad even though this one this broke this came out but I'm gonna still call it a quad that I bought that I can I think that this one was before this one even though I used this one more but this is like the most basic neutral colors ever but I, I don't know at least for now I kind of want to hold on to it because this is probably at least I don't know eight maybe nine years old it's pretty old and I will never use this again but this was just like a special place in my heart because this was like very beginner days of my makeup wearing like trying to not just wear foundation I've worn makeup I think I started maybe even when like seventh or eighth grade just because i had acne and i wanted to cover up cover that up and i didn't really have the best skin but i definitely like i have come far like i use like covergirl like five dollar makeup you know that kind of thing but i did whenever i tried to explore a little bit more i went out and i used this and as you can tell i use this a lot these two shades in particular i hit pan and i guess this one i wasn't you know as big of a fan of but i used some but i am going to hold on to this at least for now because i'm never going to use this again but it does have a special place in my heart and i just i can't get rid of that one but one thing that i have to mention i did go through an elf hd um setting powder this is actually a new one but unfortunately i threw it away the packaging is really similar to this and i think it's about the same product it's what i use today to set my under eyes and i really really like it and it's only like three dollars so I highly recommend that. The next empty that I have to mention, well, there's still a little bit left, but I'm not gonna use this because I have the Saint Tropez bronzing lotion that I can use now. But this is the Fake Bake 5 Minute Mousse. I'm pretty sure this was about $30. And at the beginning, I was really, really into it, but then I just kind of noticed the smell more. And then after I noticed the smell, I just was not a big fan of it. I just no. The next thing I'm very sad about as an empty is this 
Body Shop Shea Body Butter. This is my favorite scent from Body Shop, and this is the 400 milliliter size. I got this from TJ Maxx for $10.99. I'm pretty sure this tub is normally, I wanna say like $32 or something around that. Anyway, but it's still, as you can see, it's empty. It's, but it still has that scent, and this is my favorite scent of lotion of all time like not just body shop but like a lotion in general but it's not very inexpensive so yeah i do like like this though because every now and then you can find it at tj maxx and every time that i find it at tj maxx i will definitely pick it up because i love this scent i highly recommend it but i'm just really sad that this is empty the next thing that i have to mention is i was actually into this for a while this is a smashbox photo finish primer this is just the original and i thought i liked it for a while but then i just i don't know for some reason, I mean, you can change your mind, right? So for some reason, I just don't really like this much anymore. It is very silicone-y. I got this as like a freebie, either the freebie or in like gift with purchase from Ulta or in an Ipsy bag, but this is the, as you can tell, it's very empty. And I did keep this because I liked this, so if it ever went on sale, I was wanting to get it. But this is the NARS Pour and Shine Control Primer because I have oily skin and I did like the consistency of this. It wasn't, you know, too hard to blend or anything like this or anything like that. But I do really like this primer, but I think I should probably throw it away now. The next thing that I have to mention is this eye cream. It's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. I did like this, but it didn't, you know, totally wow me like I need to repurchase this every time. But I did like this. I probably would repurchase it in the future because it's affordable. But I did just recently get that eye cream from eye cream in my FabFitFun fall box. So I'm using that and I'm really liking it. But this was, as I mentioned, it was pretty affordable. I think it was only like 11 to $13. I will definitely link this below if you're looking for an affordable eye cream especially. I, rec I recommend this one. The next thing that I have to mention are these two little Tarte Lip Paint Minis. This is what started my obsession with the Tarte Lip Paints. And I say obsession like I have 10 of them. I only have two because they're $20 each. I don't like paying full price for lip products. I've mentioned that before. But um, one of these shades I'm pretty sure is low key or something that's really similar. These look like they're the same shade, but I promise you, no, you can tell that they're different, right? But um, it's just these little lip paints and I really, really liked these. And especially whenever I found out that they went on sale for $10, to me that was really worth it. I have two shades, I have low key and bling. I, I like them both, I really like the formula. So yeah, but like I don't still need these. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw them away now. The next thing that I have to mention is this Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Right now I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I do like that one better, not just because that one's a lot more expensive. Obviously, since I'm paying like for makeup with my own money, if this was a lot better, then I would definitely repurchase this. But I think that the Naked Skin, I just like, I don't know, I like the coverage of that one better. I haven't tried this with a brush, I recently, started using a brush to blend in my concealer under my eyes and I think that that gave me a better application a little bit more opaque because I do have pretty bad dark circles under under my eyes so maybe if I tried this with a brush it might be better because this is I think like 10 or 10 to 12 dollars and then the Urban Decay one I want to say is like 29. I try to get it when it's on when I have the 20% off sale but that's still not super inexpensive for a concealer but I really like it I think that it, the coverage is great but this is just another empty that I have to mention and then going kind of on along those lines I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation I went through another one of these I am in the shade 1.5 I have a video on this it is my holy grail foundation and I'm still using it I think I have I have one that I just started using it so it's pretty full and I'm pretty sure I have a backup of that one as well because I mean, you know you just never want to run out of foundation right so I highly recommend this I think that the coverage is great I do mention this more in that video I will link that down below the last thing that I have to mention is another Urban Decay product. I went through this all-nighter setting spray, like it's completely empty. This is $32. I mentioned this in my September, yeah, my September favorites. I love the all-nighter setting spray. I do my makeup almost every day, and every day that I do my makeup, I for sure set it with this, even if it's like later on. I just think it definitely helps with the wear of my of my makeup i've mentioned this in a story before as well i once did my makeup and then i went to the beach and i was in the water for like i don't know at least an hour and you know waves got over my face and stuff like that and my eyeshadow especially was still there i didn't touch up my makeup but it just this is a great product i highly recommend it i will definitely link that below 
So that is all the products that I have to mention in this video. I hope you enjoyed my little walk down memory lane, as well as just kind of seeing the products that I loved as well. I know that this was a little bit of a longer video, but I thought it would be really interesting to film, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I will link Kathleen's video down below, which kind of inspired me to start doing this video. She goes through your closet and also is just kind of an interesting video as well. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I post videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next video.